So this is going to be a May book haul, part one of three videos. I'm doing it in three separate videos because I can't show all the books in one video without rushing through it, and I don't like rushing through it. So part one is going to be books that I won from blog giveaways or Goodreads giveaways, or books that I got as a present, or books that were given to me, or books that I bought. So that's a lot. Part two is going to be a Scholastic book haul. And then the third video is going to be my book haul from BookCon 2014. I bought tickets last December, I think, for BookCon or for Power Reader Day at BEA. That's what it was called when I bought it. And then they changed it to BookCon, which we'll see how that is. So part one of the May book haul. Let's get started. Let's get jiggy with it. What is this? Okay. So the most recent purchases at a Books of Wonder signing for Alex London's new book, Guardian. And my sister really loved Proxy, so we went for the signing for Guardian. So my sister got Proxy by Alex London, and she also got Guardian, which I don't have with me because my sister is reading it at the time. The next book that I got that I'm super excited to read is After the End by Amy Plum. This sounds awesome. So this takes place after World War III happens. It focuses on a group of people who lives in Alaska and they think that there there's no civilization outside out there and they're the only ones who survived the World War III situation until Juno leaves the designated area that they were living in and finds out that there is a civilization out there and that she was being lied to all her life. And the story unfolds from there. And look at that cover. It is gorgeous. The next book that I bought is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. And holy moly, look at this cover. Um, first of all, that typography right there is just, like, beautiful. And I know it looks very hipstery, but it's gorgeous. So there's the naked spine. But that is inside of the dust cover. Now let's move on to books that were given to me. I'm going to try to link to people's blogs, as I mentioned the books. They'll be linked below in the description box. So first, I won a gift card, and I used it to buy The One by Kira Cass. This is a signed edition from Barnes & Noble and it also comes with an extra selection um, poster in there. So The One is the final book in the trilogy for the selection series. I really loved the selection, the first book. I like the second book, The Elite. I've been dying to read The One and I am a Team Maxon person. Let's undress this. Oh my god. Undressing. It has a little tiara on it. And that's the sexy spine. I'm such a creeper. There it is. Signed. The next book that I got is, that I won actually, is Dreams of Gods and Monsters. This is the third and final book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. And guess what? I haven't even read the first book in this series. I don't have it either. I just know I want to read it. So I have committed myself enough to actually want the third book in the series. This is, this is weird, I know. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Do you know when you have that moment when you see a book and you know that you're going to love it? Like you know, like everything about it just sounds right for you. You, you have that feeling, right? That's how I feel about this series. And that's why I was confident enough to get the third book or pick the third book because I know that I'm gonna like this series. So there you go. And this is a hardcover as well, so let's undress it. Yeah. So that's the sexy spine. I have a bunch of naked books just like sitting in front of me now because I keep taking off the dust jackets. So the next book I won from a giveaway as well. And I think this is from The Nerd Herd Reads. So this is Champion by Mary Lou. The third and final book in the Legend trilogy. And... I've been dying to read this as well because I loved Legend. Prodigy was really, really good. And the ending, oh my god, the ending was like heartbreaking. I think I cried. And 
here is Champion, the last book in the series, and I haven't read it yet because I've been waiting for school to be over. School is terrible. Shall we undress it? So it's red, and there is the sexy spine. Okay, the next book that I got is from a giveaway as well, and this is from I Heart YA Fiction. This is Hollow City, the second novel in Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series by Ransom Riggs. And there is the beautiful cover. There's the back cover. And I have Miss Peregrine's. I haven't read it. I got it last year when I met Ransom Riggs at a Books of Wonder signing, and I haven't read it yet. I, I just, I'm a terrible person because all I do is buy books and hoard books, and I need to read faster. Yes, I need to read faster. I'm going to binge read all the books. Just just trust me on this, okay? And another hardcover, so shall we undress it? Yes. Ooh, it's blue, and it says... Perplexus Anomalous. Can you see that? Can you? It says it right there. And there is the sexy spine. This is the Sweet Evil Trilogy by Wendy Higgins. This is Sweet Evil. And it's the first book in the trilogy. And all of these books are signed, which is really, really awesome. And it's so cute. I love looking at author's signatures. I love it when the authors have like really intricate or cutesy looking signatures because my signature looks like chicken scratch, literally. So the next book is Sweet Peril. The final book is Sweet Reckoning. I think that's the order. Have some faith in me. So I will be binge reading this series and after I binge read it, I will do a video about it. and. There are some cool swag that I got that I'm going to give away. I'm sure everyone loves giveaways, right? I know I do. The last book that I won this month is Super Villain of the Day, The Complete First Season by Katie Lynn Daniels. This I won from Goodreads First Reads Giveaway. So this is signed by the author. It's six novellas and two short stories in a collector's edition kind of volume. And it's with supervillains as the main characters, which I'm excited for, because I love me a villain. I've always liked villains. Villains are so much more complex than the good guy. Or, actually, I think the villain and the good guy are just, like, faces of the same coin. Villains are a little bit more interesting because they do choose to do the bad things, and... I've always just been interested in how the mind works when you're doing the bad things. This thing. book is... The Lord of Opium by Nancy Farmer, and this is the sequel to The House of the Scorpion, which I haven't read, but I have. I bought the first book a really long time ago, and I haven't read it yet because I don't know why. I always buy books, and then I know that they're going to be there, so I end up going to the library and getting books out and reading those because that gives me a three-week time limit to finish those books. So I end up finishing those first, and that's terrible because I should probably read the books that I bought. Terrible, terrible person. I was anyway. given this from Polished Pages on Twitter. She's awesome for giving away just random arcs that she didn't want anymore, I guess. The last two books were actually a present for me since I just graduated, and my friend um, knows how much I love books, and she, she got me these. So the first one is The Diamond As Big As The Ritz and Other Stories by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And this is the used book, and it looks awesome. Next book is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin L. R. Sainz. I think that's how you say it. But damn, this book got a lot of awards. And my friend read this book, and she loved it. And I think this book is also um, LGBT. The cover, first of all, is gorgeous. And my friend loved it, and I trust her opinion. And let's see how many books I got. Fifteen. I think I got fifteen books. Yep. Fifteen books for part one. Part two is going to be my Scholastic Book Haul, which is going to this box that's right next to me. And when I get to 100 subscribers, I will do a book giveaway. And I think I'm going to do some Twitter giveaways as well, because that seems like fun. You know what? Leave a comment telling me if you guys have that bond or connection that I was talking about before with books 
when you see a book and you read the title and the cover is gorgeous and you've read the blurb, you've heard stuff about the book and you just know that book is going to be great, like you know it, like do you have that feeling? with books and if so if you've had that feeling were you right like after you read the book were you right did you actually like the book um I have that feeling a lot <laughs> I just connect with books so much easier than people um that's a different set of problems but thank you for watching and I will see you later for part two of my May book haul bye